Hi, I'm Chris from MusicRadar.com. We're here looking at a new piece of software, the Aurea. Is that correct? Yes. yes. And uh, we're at NAMM 2012, and uh, another Chris here is going to take us through some of the features. Thank you, Chris. Yep. All right. So this is basically your fully functional DAW for the iPad. Um, it supports 48-track playback. Um, it's got your fully featured mixing side as well as your editing side. Uh, on the mixing side, we're really excited that PSP has done some custom channel strips for each track. Um, so you've got your expansion, your compression, your EQ on every track. Uh, as well as inserts, you can have up to four uh, VST spec inserts. They're VSTs that have been wrapped for iOS. It'll be available in app to purchase. Um, we got some great stuff from FabFilter, like this visual EQ. It's just phenomenal. Um, so that's pretty great on every track that's that's made for mixing. Um, on the editing side, it's pretty much your standard editing window, with all the swipes and gestures the the iPad is known for. Um, automation on every track, recordable from this mixer side or from the the edit side, pretty much just pull up any parameter, click, add points, and that's, that's automation on every track. Um, another thing we're really excited about is AAF, import and export. So if you start a session in Pro Tools, export it as AAF, drop it in here, all your edits, all your automation will be preserved. Um, vice versa, if you start something on the road out here, you can export it as an AAF, drop it into Pro Tools, Logic, pretty much any major DAW supports AAF, import and export. And I saw um, you got Dropbox support there as well. That's right. So if you're, you know, if you're on wireless, hit export AAF to Dropbox, open that up on your computer at home, seamless. Um, it also supports audio interfaces, USB audio interfaces that are class two compliant. Basically anything that runs without a driver on a Mac will work on here. Um, we've had up to 18 channels of simultaneous recording. So that's really exciting. What audio interface was that on that you had the 18 channel? Uh, that, it was a pre-soundness. I think it was the 1818 VSL. Uh, both Focusrite Scarlet's work. Uh, RME is debuting a new one also. Um, so that's really exciting. A lot of new interfaces are coming out that'll work. Uh, yeah, basically file sharing with iTunes is really easy. Import, export of AIFF and Wave, um, and yeah, that's about it. We should be should be debuting in about two or three months, and we're looking at forty nine ninety nine on the App Store. And, and what are the uh, the the plugins that you've got? What's what's kind of the ballpark figures for some of those? Those in App will probably be between ten and twenty dollars.